Hi, I'm Ray Baker from Backtrack Adventures. I'm going to show you the clothing and equipment that I take when I do the Kokoda track. This is the pack I carry, it's 45 litres. The characteristics that you want of a day pack are, you want a well padded shoulder straps, padded back, wide hip belt, compression straps on the side, and an external pocket to put things that you want to get out quickly. When you put the pack on, you have a sternum strap here. The sternum strap and the shoulder straps just keep things in place. They don't carry the load. The load is carried on the hips, the strongest part of the body. So you pull that in nice and tight. When you haven't got a full load, you can pull in these side compression straps that will reduce the capacity of the pack and will stop everything inside falling down the bottom. If you choose to do the Kokoda track and carry your own pack, you'll need a pack this size, 65, maybe 70 litres. And this pack has the same features as a day pack. Padded back, shoulder straps, wide hip belt, compression straps on the side, and external pockets. And this is the size pack we will give you if you're hiring a porter. You'll get this pack on your first afternoon in Port Moresby, and that night you can pack your belongings into it, and that's what your porter will carry. Um, you'll take your belongings over in, say, for example, a suitcase. That suitcase will stay in the hotel storeroom in Port Moresby under lock and key. A vital part of your equipment is your footwear. I wear these boots, they're a full leather, but you can wear uh, synthetic boots, combination suede and, and synthetic is fine, but it has to have some features. First of all, it needs a semi-rigid sole. So when you try and do that, there is some resistance. That's where you get the support from the sole, and that support will go right through your body. Also, you need a nice thick tread or slippery surfaces. And um, I like my boot to come over the ankle, so I get some ankle support around that way as well. It's called over boots, bow yangs, or sock savers. They go around the ankle like that and go over the boot. That'll stop mud getting down my boot and any uh, grass, uh, seeds or birds or that getting in my socks. After the trek, I'm going to need my uh, boots nice and clean before I bring them back into Australia or else um, quarantine aren't going to be very happy. So I've got this little uh, brush that I use in Port Moresby to give them a good clean. You'll also need some sandals or uh, reef shoes are fine. This is for wearing at night in, around camp and you'll do a lot of river and creek crossings. Under the water there's sharp rocks so you need something like this. There's a lot of different socks on the market. I like the good old Hole Proof Explorer sock. Um, nice uh, moisture absorbency there and uh, being part synthetic they dry quite quickly. I take three pair of socks. That way, I'm assured of always having a dry pair. With hydration, I have two one litre water bottles, leak proof, and I have a water bladder. It's a plastic uh, container there with a tube that goes inside my pack, and I'll always have that source of water close to my mouth, right? That's the best defence against dehydration. All drinking water should be purified. So I will fill these up and put um, an iodine tablet in each bottle, wait until it's purified, and then I will decant them into my water bladder. I like to use two trekking poles. They give great stability because with two trekking poles, you'll always have three points of contact with the ground, and that's important particularly on downhill sections on the Dakota Trap where it can be quite steep and slippery. Also, they take weight off your legs.
So a little bit of downward pressure each time your pole goes down will take that pressure off your legs. Your poles will come with these little caps. They're only used for when you're travelling, so uh, these sharp bits here don't uh, damage any of your uh, clothing. But when you're trekking, they come off. I like to use two mattresses. I have this um, very light uh, closed cell foam mat, and I also have a three quarter length um, self inflating mat. I have a little inflatable pillow, very small, very compact. But, uh, but very comfortable as well. The vital part of sleeping on the Kokoda track is a set of earplugs. You'll need a personal first aid kit. So all your first aid and your personal medicines shouldn't be in anything bigger than this. If you've got more than this, you've got something that you don't need. And th these are detailed um, on our gear list that we give you what it should contain. A headlamp, you need hands-free operation at night on the Kokoda track. So the miners type headlamp is what you want and definitely take some spare batteries. I take a pocket knife, various uses. I take insect repellent, hand sanitizer, sunblock. My toiletries are shaving oil, a razor, toothpick, toothbrush, toothpaste. That is my total toiletries. Things like um, shampoo, detergent, soap, they're optional. I take um, spare toilet paper. This has my uh, battery charging uh, stuff because I take an iPod um, and also to charge my phone, which is also my camera. I take a book. I take spare plastic bags. My quarters pack, I line it with a big plastic bag so everything in there is dry. The quarters packs have rain covers, but you also need um, an internal plastic bag to keep them dry inside as well. Clothing, I have two shirts. We will give you one of these, two pair of shorts. I wear the same shirt, the same pair of shorts, every day and I keep another set clean and dry to put on at night. I take a sun hat. Most of the time you'll be under the jungle canopy but when you're out in the open the sun is extremely strong you need protection for your head. I also take a buff. It stops the sweat getting down with my eyes. For rain protection I have a poncho. This has multiple uses. When it's really wet I put the poncho on, it goes over everything. It can go over my pack as well. And it doubles as a ground sheet. So, my philosophy is to pack light. Don't take anything that you're not going to need. If it's not on our gear list that we provide to you, you won't need it. If you think you'll need it, you won't need it. Thank you.